All right, well, welcome Butcher's Garage today. I'm going to do a nice preview. These are the three cars. They're going to be starting off for our demolition derby. Kind of wanted to do a quick, quick preview of each one. Kind of explain what we got here. Story behind each car. Because believe me, every car has a story here. And uh, we will start off with the uh, 74 Fleetwood. This is actually an extended limo. So this is the biggest car ever made at a factory production line. So I don't have the exact stats. I have to look it up. But um, it's quite the car. So this was one of the most expensive cars ever made in 72, I think it came out. Very nice looking. Um, See if this door opens. Uh, the door doesn't open. So it looks like someone. Oh, whatever. That almost looks like a Frankenstein to me. And uh, they might have used roof shingles, which is interesting to cover up that hole. I haven't gotten the trunk yet. That might be another video when I open that up. But uh, might have used house paint on this. I don't know. Uh, there's definitely some duct tape there on the roof. Obviously, I'm gonna. Hey, look at American flag. God bless America. So it definitely, man, I don't know, something's going on back here. But uh, luckily no one's ever going to be back here. Um, this car could tell some stories. So this is the, uh, well, there's my vest and me wearing that during the Demolition Derby. My cruiser vest on the flag. There we go, America. That speaker back there. Look at that amp. Kick it. Listen to some bass. So um, yeah, let's look at this here, too. It definitely came with a little bit of stuff with it. So uh, I got this at the Denver Impound. Actually, it was funny. I guess someone even knew where it was at. It sat off like 38th and I-25 for a long time before it got towed away. But uh, let's go look at the engine here. So this is actually, look at this. Someone put a new radiator in here. I had to put a battery in, so that's mine. Don't count that. So uh, someone put new HEI in there. Like a little breather. Look at that air cleaner, new alternator. I mean, someone actually spent some money in this. So this is actually a 490 cubic inch engine. This is, uh, I think, one of the second largest engines made. The car behind it actually is the biggest engine ever made uh, in, in America uh, for a car. Um, so this is a pretty unique car because it is one of the biggest ones ever made. It's actually, most car, most limos are sent off to the, um, like, coachworks to get uh, done. And this was actually done at the actual Cadillac factory. A little bruise there. Eh, missing a lock there. Window's a little loose. I'm going to probably move these windows anyways. We don't want to have any wind, windage, windage breakage hit us. Comes with some pretty good stuff in here. I, mean, I did find two bucks in here. Look at that stereo right there. This is funny. I actually found two bucks in there right when I uh, got it up here. This thing was, I left it unlocked at a, a lot for about, I don't know, three, four months. And I don't think anyone really was thinking about stuff. There's like a radio in there. There's money, flags, my vest, a trophy. Actually, the trophy is going to be the um, trophy. That trophy is going to be the trophy for the Demolition Derby. There you go. Um, so that is the story on this one. Definitely a uh, doozy. It uh, started up pretty good, just needed about a gallon of transmission fluid. Might be missing something here. Oh yeah, looks like we're missing a tail light. Uh, might have done a little Bondo, Bondo action there. Frickin' ball, look at that, it's from Denver. Um, so yeah, she, uh, she has a big old trunk. This will be doing some definitely uh, ramming with this. So now we get to our next Cadillac, what we got here. We got a 73 El Dorado. So this is actually unique because this is the biggest engine that America made. 500 cubic inch engine. Um, not saying it's that powerful because of the old uh, detuning they did due to the oil crisis. But uh, look at this, look at this trunk on this thing. I gotta zoom back here. Uh, I don't have anything to show scale, but Let's just say you could definitely fit a couple bodies in there. Might have been sitting out for a few years. Um, this one's actually a lot nicer than the other one here. This one, uh, the door's all open. 
Oh, there's a little bit of paperwork in here. Uh, look at that. Luxury. Look at, some, look at that dog stuff back there, pillows. Nice briefcase when it's in there. Um, spark plugs. So this one actually uh, starts up too. I'll start them all up in a minute for our next video. Let's, uh, this one, a um, little bit of hood, hood miscalculation there, I think. We have some issues there. But uh, let me try to open up this hood here without breaking my arm. Uh, it weighs about 300 pounds. Hold on. Sit down the camera here. There we go. There's the engine. Not that bad either. Look at this. Pretty good shape. I'll start it up in a second. Never heard this one run yet, but I think it does run. Put a battery in it and uh, all right, somebody also put about a gallon of training fluid in this and some oil, change the plugs, and this one started up pretty good. Uh, oh, 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 damage in the hood here. Don't want to, don't want any damage this one. So this is actually Shane's rig. The uh, this one's mine. I'm gonna have the Cadillac. I'm gonna be, a, I'm gonna be in style in my limo for the demolition derby. And Shane's gonna be taking the two door. So. Um, the next entrance, entrance. This one might not last long. This one is a, a one owner grandpa's car, 100,000 mile. This is a 1996 Oldsmobile Buick. I mean, Buick. What is this thing? Buick. Oldsmobile Buick. The Saber. Pretty sweet looking rig we got here. So this one uh, was also. Uh, uh, it was an estate car, just kind of abandoned by the estate, and I uh, got it. A uh, little bit of paperwork there, some maps. Um, I got it, uh, no key, no title, no nothing. So, um, I started it up. It actually started right up when I got a key and a battery in it. Look at that. Buick quality. I don't even know much about Buick. I had one when I was a kid, I had a Buick. I what the? I had a Buick something or other, and, uh, wasn't very sweet. It blew up the transmission on it. Look at that engine. 3.800 Series 2. Uh, I didn't really give it a wash. It comes with some, I've got some squirrel ejection going on in there. Some vermin varmints. Uh, so, this one, since we're here, let's get this one started right up. Now, this one might have a small issue when I drain the oil. Kind of look like, uh, you ever heard of, you ever heard of Nesquik or uh, chocolate milk, Yoo-Hoo. This definitely had some Yoo-Hoo coming out of it. So the oil was a mixture of water and I don't know what, but look at that. Heard like a kit. I wonder if we have, we have, we have a radio. We have a radio. Look at that. Nice. Look at that. All right. So 114,000 miles on this thing. Oh, she's a beaut. Runs pretty good. I don't want to run it too long since I don't know how long that engine's going to run with a blown head gasket. But uh, this that thing purr. purr. She is a runner. Uh, so, let's see. It was smoking more than a gambler at the casino here, but not smoking right now. It should kick in a minute, but... Uh, yeah, kind of might be a smoke screen. Whoever, this is a, for a third entrance, probably going to be my brother. This thing might be more like a James Bond car with the uh, smoke screen going with the uh, with the white uh, with the white smoke coming off this one. So this one's uh, all good to go. I'm going to have to do some safety checks on them, put on my lab coat and check it out. But I will, let's get the, uh, let me get the limo started up and let you hear that thing purr. Definitely not going to be able to blink left on this one. Only right. Going to have to do right hand turns in the uh, Dumbledore Derby. Let me, uh, look at that. Oh man, this fender is in bad shape. I wonder what it is. Wow. I don't know how many hits I'm going to get out of the rear. All right, let me stop this kit suspension startle. Let's hear it. Be back one second. All right. Here's the caddy. Doesn't really purr like a kitten, but let's see. Here are our sounds here. Running pretty good. Might need a 
she's a yeah she's running that's that's as far as we're gonna go on that one I'm gonna try to batter up she's a whew, smells a little rich like might have burnt through a couple gallons of gas just uh, during that 30 seconds so this one is ready to go gonna be moving this parking it wait for a few months and ready for the uh, summer event let's see if we can get this black one running I'll be back in one second all right we got her running she actually sounds pretty damn good sounds better than the uh, the uh, limo yeah what do you got to say there Shane Black Beauty. Black, black, black Beauty. Black, okay. Black Beauty. Yeah, uh, look at that. Sounds like I might have some muffler issues. Shane says that bumper is going to be, uh, that's going to be trouble for everyone. Look at that. Look at these. Look at this little, uh, little side lights and stuff. Oh, look at that. Uh, so, uh, um, check the blinker code. <laughs> yeah. He said, oh, we need to check the uh, blinkers, make sure. Uh, like I said, I'll be doing a good safety check with the lab coat here before, but uh, look, at, look at this thing. Oh, a little bit of a uh, lightning of weight there, we call it. It's not actually, it, it's, it's all coming through the muffler here. Sounds, sounds pretty good. So, uh, this, this, yeah, this, see, this is the best running vehicle. Well, I don't know, this white one runs pretty good, but it does a little bit of a smoke screen with the uh, head gasket blown. So, all right, well, this is it. We will do an update when they are all decorated. Uh, the uh, the limousine's gonna have a uh, American theme going, red, white, and blue with a flag. Shane? Surprise. Okay, well. Ideas. All right, well, this will be a surprise. And this one, I think, is gonna be my brother's car, so I don't know what he's gonna do. And now we have some other entrants. We don't know about them yet, but. All right, well. Butch, Butch Crutch signing off. We'll see you in a few months when we get these things uh, a little more situated and uh, race ready. Adios. Goodbye.